Last week, we met with our associates that are going through our online course, The Body Sex Experience. And Carlin, your topic was brilliant. It was about sexual expression. And I just thought we need to share this to the masses. Yes. And it was prompted by Betty's memoir. Mm -hmm. Because Betty was a, an adventurer and Betty lived in a very rare time. She came out of a sexless marriage as the sexual revolution was kicking off, right? Mm -hmm. So this is pre-herpes, pre-HIV, when people started thinking, hey, instead of just limiting sex to marriage, what if we had sex in groups mm -hmm. and multiple partners? And it was seen as this kind of um, enlightenment in a way. Um, and she was there for that moment. Mm -hmm. And so when we read the stories of Betty's life and her journey, we go right to all like the the you know, gay bathhouse sex scene, <laughs> we go to all these moments. But if you look at Betty's life, she had long stretches of celibacy and mm -hmm. self-sexuality. Mm -hmm. After the orgy scene, she went within. Mm -hmm. It's when she developed a lot of the techniques that we use and the rituals of body sex. And she had a 10 year period, no partner sex. Mm -hmm. Then in her 60s, when her hips started to wear out, mm -hmm. she had another 10-year stint. Then when we were working together, that was when Eric left. They had their moment. And then she had another 10-year <laughs> stretch of no partner sex. But she was always a sexual person. Right, right. Our sexuality is what comes from the inside out. Uh, there's no hierarchy. It's not about doing like all of these outrageous sex acts and checking them off the list just so we can feel like, oh, I'm sexually advanced. Sexually advanced is about going within. It's about connecting with yourself and really knowing who you are. The hardest thing to do mm -hmm. is to be intimate with oneself mm -hmm. because orgasm is just a tool of self-knowledge. Yeah. I know my body. I'm in touch with my body. I keep, I maintain that connection. And it's hard when we're cycling through emotions or we're stressed mm -hmm. out. It's really easy to let it go because in a way it's like, I don't want to deal. So when we look outward and we have lots of partner sex, or we have all kinds of kinky sex sex, that's kind of easy because it's a distraction. Right, right, right. And I think it's only by going inward and having a solid relationship with yourself, being self-sexual, having an independent orgasm, that's the only way really you can have partner sex successfully because you're coming together as equal partners. Betty always said that. She said, how we masturbate, the connection we have with our own bodies, that's what we bring to partner mm -hmm. sex. So we don't want to bring hunger or thirst or dysfunction mm -hmm. or, you know, I'm all keyed up and I'm going to put it all on you. Right. <laughs> right. We want to be cycling that beautiful orgasm energy. And when we're right, everything's energy mm -hmm. and we can cycle the right frequency of what we want to pull in, what we want to manifest. We'll pull in the right person and then together, right, we're each yeah. responsible for our own orgasm we share. And that's the sweet stuff. Yes. Yes. 